What is up, guys? We are back with another Lorcana video, and once again, I'm here with Stefani's World. Oh, you sound less enthusiastic. Stefani's World. <laughs> That's too loud for the volume. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit that. Um, okay, so uh, today uh, I'm using one of Stefani's decks here, her Mufasa's New Groove, or is it with the Mufasa, the new one from Shimmering Skies? So I'm super duper excited to uh, use it to destroy her. And tell us which deck <laughs> that you're gonna be using. Um, I am using a, I think it's Ursula based aggro deck, I guess, okay. kind of. Oh, the, uh, it's Amethyst Emerald. Emerald. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. So mm -hmm. we can shuffle up and get started. Cool. I'm excited. Yeah, this is my first time playing a Sapphire Steel, but since you're such an amazing pro player, I feel I've learned a lot <laughs> Whatever. from watching you. I wish I was a pro player. Yeah. So. More practice. This is more practice. Yeah. Anything that I do here, I learn from Stefani. Okay. So <laughs> I'll take credit if it's good. Oh, including the bad <laughs> stuff. So if I do terrible, <laughs> that's because of her too. Dang. Rude. I feel like from what I've seen with you playing this deck, I feel like it's majority. If you have a terrible hand, hand you're like screwed. It feels like, it, that. yeah. Is that like that? Okay. Yeah. Do we want to do this to see who goes first? Sure. Okay. Or we could roll a die. That works though. Yeah. Well, we don't have the dice on hand, right? Yeah, it's true. Okay, so you can pick a hand. Whoever picks the three is going to go first. Left hand. That's a three. Dang. So you get to go first. Okay, fine. Whatever. Oh, that's good for you. And, and well, it's good for me too because I'm it not aggro. Be good for me. But you are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's do. Not that one. Five, six, seven. Not that one. I don't really know what I'm looking for right now. I think I'll. Um, I'm looking five. Okay, this is I'm gonna be a rough game. Three. Okay. One, two, three. So I feel like I didn't get the stuff that you usually like to start with. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I try when I mulligan to get like a specific first, second, and third turn mm. for that deck. Yeah, I was just looking for a popsicle. <laughs> well, I, I usually like try for yeah. I usually yeah. try for like a popsicle or like a Forge Spear on the first turn. Yeah, maybe I should have just mulligan the whole hand to try to get the popsicle. I don't know. As long as you don't have all like five and greater cost things, like you should be good. Let's just play the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, I am going to. <laughs> Ink of Lynn Rider, and I will play Pegasus. Oh, always spoil. One That's drop, one, nice. one, evasive. Okay. Yep. Are you done? Oh, yeah. End my turn, sorry. Okay. Now I draw a card. Okay, I'm going to ink this amazing eight drop Tamatoa. <laughs> so shiny. <laughs> so shiny. Uh, oh, sorry. I can't ink because I, I can't play anything. I forgot. Okay, oh. so I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going to be able to do something. All right. I'll go. Ready up. Draw a card. I am going to <laughs> I'll ink a Pegasus. I'll exert two and I will play Ursula Deceiver. When you play this character, chosen apparent reveals their hand and discards a song card of your choice. I guess let it go is your only one, so yep. let's do that one. Okay. And you then you like my hand, right? Uh I don't like what it's going to potentially do. Yeah, if it gets there. <laughs> you got stuff, definitely, that you can do. So I'm going to quest for one and see if I can start this little lore ramp going. Yeah. All right. Uh, your, your turn. Okay. So ready up, start turn effects, nothing, and draw a card. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, it doesn't do anything, though. So Okay. <laughs> I'm good with that. Let me see. I'm going to ink this Donald Duck, who's... Focus flat foot, flat foot. Mm -hmm. And I exert two to get Smee down. And I've never used Smee before, um, but I've seen people use him against me a lot. And he's really good. <laughs> so he's two cost, has three, three, really good stat line. But at the end of my turn, if he's exerted, then I have to do a damage to him if I don't have a captain character. And I think you don't run any captains in his deck, right? Nope. Yeah. And then that's going to end my turn. All right. Let me ready everything up. Do, 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 do. Let's draw a card. All right, I'm going to ink a goat. 
I'm going to exert three, and then I am going to play the library. Mm. The library is one of the new locations. It's a three drop, one with eight willpower, uh, one cost to move somebody there, and then when a character's banished here, I can draw a card, but at least I'll get one lore every turn. So yeah. I'm going to do that, and then I am going to quest for two, and I will end my turn. Oh, man. Okay, so right up. So you're at three lore now. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll draw a card. Okay, I'm going to... Let's see. I don't know if this is a good play or not. I have to control your board. Let's go ahead and ink a popsicle here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to exert three. So I can play Pete. Oh, dang. So at least now, so when you play this character, you uh, the opponent cannot play actions until it's your next turn, so you can't sing songs either. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have my Mr. Smee uh, swing for three, take out your Ursula, to take a damage back. And that's going to end my turn. So at the end of my turn, if he is exerted, he takes a damage. So it's almost dead. Dope. Okay, and that's going to, yeah, I'll pass over to you. Sweet, let me ready up. And then start our turn effect. Oh, actually, I gain a lore. Yeah, my up. Yeah. Location. All right, so I'm at four. I'm going to draw my card. I'm going to ink a fox. I will exert one to play Maleficent. Ooh. And then I will exert three to play Diablo, Devoted Herald. Oh, no. So during your opponent's turn, whenever they draw a card and I'm exerted, then I'll get to draw a card. But okay. can't right now for now. So I'm just going to quest for one with my Pegasus and call it a day. Okay. It's your turn. All right. So I get the ready up. Mm -hmm. Start our turn of effects. I don't have anything. And I'm going to draw a card. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm going to let's exert one so I can play a popsicle. Mm -hmm. So it says when you play this item, you may draw a card. So I can get another card back. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I am going to ah okay. I'm going to uh, ink a forest sphere here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ink these items, but I have to to try to keep up with you. <laughs> um, and I'm going to let's exert three so I can play my uh, fishbone quill. Ooh. Okay, so I can exert the fishbone quill. To put any card from your hand into your ink face down. Mm -hmm. So let's ink a Mufasa here, who's okay. not helping me right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's not exerted, but it doesn't matter. I can't play anything without one ink. Um, oh, maybe I should have saved that from and played that the uh, item. The force. Yeah, that wouldn't better play. Yeah, mm -hmm. I messed up there. Okay, and then let's see here. I cannot take out your Pegasus because he's evasive. Mm -hmm. Can't attack these guys at all. So I can hit the library. Yeah, you could. Um, He'll die, though. Yeah, I don't think I want my Smee to die here, but I can have Pete attack for three at the library. All right. And do some damage. Take some damage on my library. Okay, and then uh, that is going to try to hew him with a Popsicle. Nah, you he's could, not but that if you good. Pull a... Habersham. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to do anything. I'm done. All right, let me ready up. It's I'm not looking get good. One lore from my library. So now I'm up at six. I'm going to draw a card. All right. I am going to exert. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. I'll exert four, and I will play a Merlin Goat. Ooh, okay. So I'll gain a lure right now, and then when he leaves play, I'll end up getting another one. So I'll be at seven now. I'm definitely going to quest for one. It'll put me at eight. Um, yeah, I might as well just quest with everybody. <laughs> so I'll get three more from the Maleficent and the Diablo. So I'll be at 11. Oh, no. Do you have any evasives in uh, my deck? Um, I don't think so. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I had this issue at uh, when I was at the, my locals. Yeah. yeah okay, gotcha. I couldn't take out anything. So cool. But I have a lot of songs in your deck. Okay, so okay. you can deal with me that way. Yeah. So you discard the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, are you done? Yep, that's my okay, turn. So you can go ahead. Up. Start turn effects. I don't got nothing. And then I will draw a card here, which I need to be really good. Ooh, okay. Let's see. What does this card do? 
That's not it. That wasn't it. That wasn't the card. Let's see. I think... Okay, so... Oh, and I get to draw, right? Because you drew and I'm excited. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, with Diablo's effect, true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the Fishbone Quill so I can exert to put any card from my ink wall face into my ink wall face down. Mm -hmm. So I put this Cheat Shot that I just drew who's uninkable. So mm -hmm. I can get it. Oh, I don't have to show you, right? Yeah, it's fine. Mm -mm. And then I can exert six here. Oh, no, what are you going to do for six? So I can play Cusco. Ooh. So whenever you play this character, I can put a chosen item or location into their player's ink well, face down and exerted. So you're a fish phone? Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I should do your library. What else would you do? Try to get some more ink with my stuff. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see. You're at 11. So if you the library quest, 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 it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. You go up to 17. I take out the Maleficent, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, yeah, I had to, so I'll put your library into your ink wall. Yeah, All right. Cus but the Cusco's effect. That does make sense. Oh, it goes into your ink wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I forgot. So get that. Yeah, Thanks I kind of wanted that ramp, but okay. Um, And then, yeah, Pete can attack for one to take out your Maleficent. It'll All take right, a damage take back. One damage. And then that's it. I can't take out the Diablo here. Um, Yeah, it's going to end my turn. Okay. All right. I will go ahead and ready up then. I really like having these evasives. I feel like they come in handy when you have decks or playing against decks that don't have any. Yeah, yeah, good for you. <laughs> All right, I am going to exert three to play Ursula Deceiver of All. Oh, um, no. So when I sing a song, I can basically sing it again, and then it yeah. goes to the bottom of my deck. And then I will exert one to play a Cursed Merfolk. Oh, no. Okay. And then I am going to quest for three. Okay. One, two, three. And the other two are trying. And that will end my turn. So I'll be at 14 more now. All right. I'm ready up. You're going to win, like, next turn, huh? I hope so. That's the plan. Oh, man. Okay. So I'm ready to up, start turn effects, nothing, and draw a card. Come on. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see here. Ding. I don't, let me see. Can I stop you here? Can you buy a turn at least? Is the question. So you quest one, two, three. That's 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so oh, when I draw a card for okay, Diablo. For Diablo. So... I think you still win next turn, though, if I do that. Unless you have a song. Yeah. Because I do have some grab your swords in there. I do have a song, but I don't want to. I have to, unfortunately. OK, so I'm going to exert a Fishbone Quill. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put something into my ink wall. And ah, it's the <gasps> last Mufasa. Oh, no. So I really wanted to play it, but I it just I can't that do anything. That stinks. It's hard yeah. though when they don't have ink. Yeah, because I have one card in my hand here and I have to play it. So it's, it's a whole new world. Oh, dang. Okay. So I'm going to have Cusco sing it though. So okay. I exert him to sing a whole new world. Each player just cards their hand and draws seven cards. So I get a fresh seven and I don't discard them because I don't have anything in my hand. Three, four. Oh, but with Diablo's effect, you draw seven more. Oh, dang. Okay, crazy. cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so you have a huge hand. Oh, I just showed a camera in my hand, but I think you didn't look, so that's good. Yeah, I wasn't looking. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Um, I didn't know that with Diablo, I would grab seven more. Yeah. That's pretty dope. I just thought it would have been like, since I was drawing one, I get one, but I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, I've definitely got some options for next turn. Okay. Um, that's not good. So let me see. What is the situation looking like right now? Oof. Yeah, you have 14 card chain. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My hand is big. Yeah. So I definitely can ink next turn. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay, I think what I got to do is, so I still have an ink this turn because I use a fishbone quill, mm -hmm. but I can exert six here. Oh, Tink? Play, yeah, play Tinker Bell. All right, so one So when you play damage. this character, do one damage to each opposing character. All right, so. so it's going to kill the Curse Merfolk and the Pegasus. Got it. Well, you got rid of one of my evasive. Yeah, that was and big. And the rest, I'll get one damage, right? Yeah. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna have my Smee now swing for three and knock out your Merlin. And Smee dies. But I think he did a good job. Yeah. That's good holding him out. And you stop me from winning this next turn. Yeah, well, we'll see because you have a lot of options, but you're 14. <laughs> <laughs> so, I certainly do. I don't know what I can do. Uh, and then I think, so I'm going to do my normal ink here. Okay. So who should I ink? Uh, this guy, I feel like, is useless to me right now. So let me ink this Cogsworth. Mm -hmm. And I exert two. So I can play another Mr. Smee. Dang. Okay, and then these guys are drawing, so they can't do anything. The P cannot attack because of the evasive, so it doesn't matter. So I might just have a quest. I don't think you're going to attack him at all. But now I can finally get my first lore this game. Yay! Well, this is the first one. Yeah. Dang. I didn't, I've then been doing nothing. Okay. Well, that's pretty common for Zephyr's feel. Yeah. Like we tend to I don't get think I like in. it. Okay. It, it's very nerve-wracking, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I'm yeah. done. I'll pass it over to you. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and ready up. What are you going to do with your 14 cards Let's in your see. Game? Well, first, I'll have a 15 now. Oh, get yeah. The, <laughs> the good thing is you have five ink. Yes. You have a lot of options, but just All right, not hopefully see. not that many things to play. Okay, I'm gonna ink a snake. Oh, okay. I am going to hmm. Looking at your 14 cards. Not yet. That Diablo is nasty with the yeah, whole world. I know. Let's see. I can either do that or I can do oh that would be nice too. So I have Six things I can play with. So I'm going to start off by singing with Ursula. I'm going to sing. Friends on the side? No. Sudden Chill. Uh oh. So you're going to discard A card two from, cards from my hand. Because I get to sing it again. I see. Okay. And then this will go on the bottom of my deck. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to discard Cusco and Tamatoa. Nice. I'm going to exert one. Don't play another one. <laughs> For oh. a Pegasus. Okay. I will. That guy is not fun. Um, exert two more. One, two. And I will play two Cursed Merfolk. Oh, oh snap. Okay. And then I will exert three. Come on. To shift my Pegasus. Oh, okay. So now they're all evasive. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then I am going to quest for one. And that'll end my turn. Okay. So I'll be at 15. Okay. And sorry, really quick. The Diablo's a little bit out of frame. So you, okay, just, cool. yeah, you just come to my space a little bit here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, 15. And with the effect of Pegasus, if you shift a flame, all your characters have... Oh, yeah, you're set. Yeah, okay, they're cool. all evasive. And, and then, then you're done? Yep. And now I get to draw a card when you draw a card. Yeah. My Diablo. So I'm ready up here. I really, I really want to play Mufasa. <laughs> so I draw a card, you get another card. Yay. Okay. So, oh, and I get to ready up my characters. Okay. Okay, so I was worried... Oh, by the way, when, when you sing with Ursula, does it go to the bottom of your deck or something like that? Oh, mm -hmm. it does? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was really scared you would play another sudden chill and just card the rest of my hand. But I think I can possibly come back. But you just, you just have so many options that it's still going to be a really a rough yeah. road. But um, yeah, yeah, there's still things I can do here. That is worrisome. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so they're all evasive. So I can't attack. Yeah, so there's no point thinking about that. I have Cusco Sing. He's six cost. Hey, grab your sword. Oh, dang. So uh, you can say it because he's more than five. Do two damage to each opposing character. So kill everyone except the Pegasus. So if you didn't make everyone evasive, I could have Tinkerbell attack someone, do some damage to Pegasus, mm -hmm. and then also kill him. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. Damn, that was rough. No, no, that was fine. <laughs> Not for me. And then I'm going to exert four here. Mm-hmm. So I can play Kirim Flavorsham. Ooh. So when I play him, I can banish an item. I'm going to banish... I need the fishbone anymore? Uh, you should keep the fishbone. Just banish the popsicle. But I have one card in my hand. So I'm going to banish the fishbone. And I can draw two cards with the Havershim. Cool. Maybe that healing might be able to help me a little bit in the future. Mm, okay. Touche. Okay. And then I'm going to... Let's see. 
I don't know if this is a good play here. You'll get up to 17. Oh, that's scary. Okay, I'm going to exert 4 here so I can play Bell. She's strange but special. <laughs> if I have 10 ink in here, then she has plus 4 lore. I only have 8 ink though. Oof. So currently she does not have that plus 4 lore. Um, mm -hmm. And then... Man, there's so many characters. I know. I'm going to exert Tinkerbell here to sing a long cam Zeus, and I'll kill the Pegasus. Oh, dang. And then I'm going to ink a Mr. Smee. So now I have nine ink and no cards in my hand. <sighs> then I'll have Pete quest for one, and I'll have Mr. Smee quest for two. So I go from one up to four. And mm -hmm. I'll end my turn, and Mr. Smee will take a damage because he's exerted and have no captain cares in play. And then uh, Hero and Flabbersham and Bell are drawing, so they can't do anything. And that's going to end my turn. Dang. All right. All right. I'm going to ready up. The bad uh, thing is you have options. So I do have options, I'm yeah. I'm worried about that. All right. Let's draw a card. Can you show them like the, the backside of your hand? <laughs> like the sh Show them my cards? No, no. Just like how many cards you oh, have in your hand. sure. You, you can just put it like... I don't think you can see it there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, yeah, I got so nothing. I got right now. Yeah, I have nothing. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though you have nothing so. in the field, I, you, you just gotta get five lore somehow. <laughs> so right, I'm, I'm gonna ink. Uh, I'm gonna ink a friend because I don't need a you, you might card be able to right? right? You should. You should hard cast. I definitely it. could, but I don't. I don't okay. think I will though. Okay. Thanks for the rack though. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I'm on your side. I'm gonna exert four. I'm gonna play. Oof! I think this is the right thing to do. I'm gonna play a Merlin goat. Oh no! I gain one lore, okay. so I'll be at sixteen. Um, I am then going to exert two. Play Mem. Oh no! Bounce him back, gain another one, so I'll be at seventeen. Okay. And then it's a good way to get lore without having to quest and wait yeah. for cards to dry. And I think that's all I can do this turn. Okay, I'm ready up. So I know you have a goat in your hand. If you play it, you get another lore. Mm -hmm. Oh man, okay. I have no star turn effects. I'm going to ready up my nine ink. And then I can draw one card. And now you finally don't get to draw for the first time when I'm drawing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have Hiram quest first. So he's going to quest for one. I go up to five. Mm -hmm. And I can banish an item whenever he quests or when I play him. So now I'm using his uh, questing effect. Mm -hmm. I banish the popsicle. I can draw two more cards. Mm -hmm. So I desperately need this card draw here. Okay. And then I'm going to ink a fishbone quill. Mm -hmm. So now I have 10 ink. Mm -hmm. Bell now has plus four lore because I have 10 more, or more cards on my ink wall. So I exert her to quest for five. Dang. I bring her five up to 10. Okay. So <laughs> I, I'm close too. Two, three, four. You think five, it'll be six, at what, seven. 17? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have Cusco and Pete quest and the Mr. Smee here. So it's mm -hmm. going to be one, two, three, four, five with the Cusco. Mm -hmm. So I go up to 15 here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to. And why not the Tink? I'm just curious. Well, I'm trying to decide. Actually, maybe I should just do it with the Tink. Yeah, because my ink is not. Because you already know I have a goat, right? So. Yeah, so I'm going to exert. The tink here, quest two, so I go to 17. And then we can see if you can win, but I'm going to exert four ink. Because mm -hmm. I was going to have the tink sing, but I can just hard cast it because I have so much ink. Oh, so damn. I do a long camp Zeus and kill your Madam Mim. So she won't be able to quest for one. So the question is, can you gain three lore without questing? Ding. And just in case, yeah, because if you win here, you win. But if you don't win, then I win. So I'll exert the last six ink to play another Tinkerbell. That's going to end my turn. Ding! Well, if you hadn't killed Mim, I for sure would have won. Ooh, okay. Now I don't know. Let yeah, me see but if but I you can... can still draw a card, and you have That's a lot true. of options. Let me do that. Let me... Maybe the card draw will save me. Yeah, the heart of the cards. Sorry, I'm in your field. You don't have anything, so let me just kill the people. <laughs> <laughs> my character's here. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, and then Smee takes a damage when I turn in. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to Inca Pegasus. I am going to... Damn, what am I gonna do? Let me just do this. Um, 
rough. Well, I'm going to exert four, play that goat. Okay. You can just... Yeah, just slide it in there. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll gain one lore. Oh, yo, yo, yo. 18. 18. Do you have another bounce? I do. Ah, yeah. I see. So I'm going to exert three and bounce it. And get another lore. Yeah, so I'll be at 19. I see. So you need to quest with that I snake. I needed that snake. That yeah, needed yeah, I really needed that snake. Um, and that's all I can do. Okay. Dang. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm ready up here. Right about the ink, and I draw a card, and I'll just have the Bell Strange but Special quest here for another five. Nice. Push me up to 20. That was Dang. insane. That, that was, was good. So close. That's this good. keeps happening. I know. Yeah, that was, I, I really, yeah, this is a really cool deck. That's really fun. Yeah, I w it was really rough in the beginning. Um, yeah. I, it's but it's like just, that late, yeah. that late effect. You, so, you got rid of my Let It Go. That would have helped me out with that Diablo. Mm-hmm. That was rough. So yeah. what I should have done is that yeah. turn I, I used the um, what was it the 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 Krilla Deville song the sudden chill one. I had oh, another yes. sudden chill in my hand. That would have ended. So me. I should have used yeah, it then. I was so because is that three cost? Uh, it's two cost. Is oh, it two? two? Wait, you, you can look at the bomb your deck. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It's two cost. So yeah. I had another one. I could have played it. Okay, but well, I was like, so worried about like needing yeah. to have more. Let, let me think what I had. Um, no, so if you played it, so I have four cards in my hand, and I threw away, I threw away the Tamatoa mm -hmm. and the Cusco. I also had Grab Your Swords and Bell, so I would just throw Bell away, mm. and I, I keep the Grab Your Swords. And then I would have been able to get the the goat next turn. Mm, no, I see. because I the, I didn't get any change in the cards because like we who still ended up playing. Uh, yeah. Like the where I got fourteen cards. Yeah, I, I think, but the thing is, I think if Bell wasn't here, actually, it would have been the same thing, because I would have quest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So even if she didn't quest for a ten lore, like mm -hmm. this time, I still get ten. You see what I mean? So even mm -hmm. if you discard Bell, still... but yeah. then if that's the case, because you were, it would have been like twenty five right now, right? Twenty four, twenty four. Right, right now with right now with the Bell, right? Right now it would be at thirty, because oh. they, they all quest here. You see what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Bell's yeah. ten lore didn't didn't matter. That's true. So I could have discarded. Yeah, I, what was worrisome is if you discard four cards from me because I have four cards mm. in the hand. You if you destroy the grab your swords, I'm done. Like I need that grab your sword. But you would have lost Bell and what? What was the other card you would have lost? What is it? The grab? No. So the four cards that I had in my hand in the beginning was the grab Tamatoa and the uh, Cusco. Or what? I but you would have lost the grab one, right? No, so I, I had these. So I had these four cards in my hand. And then when you play the first two with Ursa Sunga, I discard Tamato and Cusco. But I mean, like, if I play the second Sudden Chill, yeah. you would have then lost no. not only the bell, but also this. No, right? because Ursa sings, sings you twice. If you play, you only, it's only oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, see yeah, what you're yeah, saying. Because yeah. so, I wouldn't have got it twice. Again. Exactly. Yeah, saying. but if you had another one in your hand, mm. then that would have that like, Do I have another one? I, I have no clue. Too. Can we show me your hand? Yeah, you have I did one have right here. Another, that's the one I. That's the one I would have had to play. Do you, do you draw it or do you have? No, oh, that's, that's the, one you that's had the second one. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, didn't I was like, oh, you had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. No, but like I had. Oh, the Queen's Castle too. Yeah, but then like it wasn't worth playing her because I needed the lore from the goat. Gotcha. So like, and then like seven, it doesn't matter. Like you have yeah. plenty of attack to. Yeah, yeah, out. yeah. Of course. Um. Yeah, I really want to play. I feel so, I, the Mufasa. So on turn one, I drew him in a mulligan. But I want to play him so bad that I kept him in my mulligan. Oh, no. And then I drew another one. Oh, my god! So gosh. then I was like, this That's is terrible. Rough. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, because... Uh, you for sure should have mulliganed it. I, I really wanted to play him a lot. This is, He's a really, really cool... Like, guys, come on. This he is, is very cool. Look at this art. Yeah, uh, when I was at Locals yesterday, um, the Mufasa was so helpful. I feel like yeah. basically every time I got him out, like, it was basically like a for sure win. Yeah, but I think I need to just mulligan him, I guess, because he can't mm -hmm. it can't do anything on turn one or like you know up to like turn eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's cool with Sapphire Steel. You just have to be comfortable with knowing that your opponent's probably gonna get to at least ten 19. to like fifteen lore before yeah. you get anything. Yeah. Um. But then once you start hitting, like, you just start like yeah yeah ramping up. The crazy hero fast. was uh, was clutch being able to draw cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. You know what the Diablo was like destructive for me because he's evasive and you drew so many cards and with that whole new world yeah 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 that was wild the only good thing was that your ink was limited but other than that that was not good for me mm -hmm. yeah.
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oh yeah, I, I was stuck with the whole new world. Mm -hmm. And then my only other card, so I drew the whole new world and the Mufasa was under card in my hand. So I was almost considering just like not playing the whole new world. Uh -huh. and so I could like ink it with the Fishbone Quill and mm -hmm. then get the Mufasa out. But I was like, no, I have to just whole new world because I, I can't. I can't hang on to the Mufasa anymore. Dang. Yeah. Well, I really did not expect you to come from behind that much. As much Me as I like, either. And this is like I'm so used to playing that deck. Yeah. Like I just didn't think that it would be salvageable. But would you say this is your favorite deck? The uh, yeah, the Sapphire Mufasa Steel. Yeah. Yeah, my Mufasa. Yeah, that was actually group. really fun. Yeah, that was a really fun. It's deck. fun it's though, awesome right? Deck. Especially yeah. when you come from behind, it like feels it's so a, much better. Yeah, it's really, really fun. <laughs> I really, and then the bell. I mean, she didn't do anything like that changed the game, but like because you know I had the, the quest without mm -hmm. her, but it's really cool to quest with for five. That's, yeah, that's really, really cool. It's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I like how they quest so high, I guess, late game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really wanted um, the items. I kept inking them, which was not fun. Yeah, yeah, I was like, when you kept inking them, I was like, why is he doing that? Like, you I really had, need them for that yeah, flavishing. I had the Fortis Sphere, and I had a, a Popsicle, and a Fishbone Quilt. Yeah, because I just, you're bored. I need to manage it early game, mm -hmm. so I had to just give up on these items here. Yeah. But I definitely made a mistake. I should have um, played one of the items earlier, mm -hmm. draw a card, and ink that card. Yeah, I definitely yeah, noticed that, that one. Th th that was a big... Uh, yeah, mistake there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but like you were managed to get crazy lore even without even having to play your lucky dime. Yeah, I didn't even. Well, I I never drew it, but I didn't do the. I I already see you do Tomatola mm -hmm. and Bell, but then like it was just like the little questers. I mean, these guys aren't even little. You got the Smee with two, Cusco with two, Tinker Bell with two. Like they they quest for a lot too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was tons of fun. Thank right. you for letting me use your deck. That yeah, was for awesome. sure. Thanks for having me. It was super fun. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video.